Hello, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in the new Kia EV6 GT and next to me is a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ and we're going to have a drag race because I want to find out which is quickest over the standing quarter mile. A Kia or a Lamborghini? Never thought those words would ever fall out of my mouth. But here we are strange times. Anyway, let me tell you about this Kia. It's got two electric motors and combined they put out 585 horsepower and 740 newton meters of torque. This car is quite heavy because of all the batteries. It's got a 77 kilowatt hour battery and so it tips the scales at 2.2 tons. It's also quite expensive. Well, for a Kia, costs £63,000. Let's find out about the Lamborghini from its crazy owner, it's Mark McCann. Hey Mark, how are you? Not bad, thank you Matthew, how are you? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm going to race you in a Kia and you're in a Lamborghini and if you lose, <laughs> it'd be so embarrassing. I've got my fingers crossed because I think I'm going to have to stop my channel if this goes horribly wrong. <laughs> okay, well we don't want that to happen right, but you, you never know. So do you know the facts and figures on your car? Um, it is... Uh, you better do this, Matt. Come on, what engine's in it? You know the engine, right? It's a V12. <sighs> okay, so it's a V12, 6.5 litre, 770 brake horsepower, 1525 kg weight. I'm cleverer than I look. And how much torque have you got? Quite a lot. How much exactly? Um, a bit more than you. Wrong answer. It's a bit less than me. You've got 720 newton meters of torque. This, for your information, has 740 newton meters of torque. How much is your car? It's obviously a lot more than this. Yeah, this one weighs in with all the extras at 380,000. Say it quick. Wow, 380,000 pounds for that car. And you've taken such good care of it. <laughs> it's been serviced and it gets put in a garage every single night. The dirt is for show, isn't it really? Ask Jane, she likes dirt. Dear, we, we won't go there, shall we? Uh, anyway, if you like these kind of videos and you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. That way you won't miss a single upload. I know I keep saying it, but some of you haven't actually subscribed. Please do it. Anyway, let's race. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now, before we race, we've got to do the customary car wow sound check and um, I'm going to have to make an electric car sound or some kind of noise because this doesn't make a noise, it's electric. I used to be able to make a Formula One sound before Formula One car sounded like shit. So I don't know if I can because I've got a retainer in. I don't know if I'll do this. I might end up spitting everywhere. <laughs> well, bear with me. <laughs> I can't quite do it like I used to be able to. <coughs> oh, don't worry, that's not Corona. Anyway, let's hear Mark rev up his car. Rev up your car, Mark. That was lovely. Let's do this. Actually, before we do, let's warm up the tyres. Um, this car is supposed to have like an ability to slide. I don't know how to do it really, but I'll give it a guess. If we can warm up the tyres in the Kia. Oh my God. It's absolutely killing its tyres. I don't think I'm going to leave it there. That was horrible. I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> do you want to want the tyres in yours? Not really. Okay, right then. Let's just race then. Three, two, one. <laughs> off the line. Oh, come on! Here he comes now though. Come on, petrol! <laughs> bye bye! Didn't have me by much. I had you off the line. Either you were a bit slow off the line or I was a bit premature. Should we check with the stewards? Is that standard in the Watson household? All the time. And she freaking loves it because it's over quickly. <laughs> Steward, did I jump the start? I don't normally call myself out on this. I felt like I might have done. You did not jump the start. Ah, you were just slow! But you still came past and beat me. However, do you know what? I'd like you to have another go, see if you can get a better start. All right, Mark, just get yourself set up on the line. Oh, I'm just gonna nip for a quick wee, okay? Just back in a sec. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Right then, Mark, you ready for a second run? Try and tell me you launch a bit better. Um, I'm not the cleverest man here, but that looks to me to be a different car. I literally don't know what you're talking about. It's a Kia EV6. So look at the camera and tell me that in the middle of the steering wheel, there's a Kia badge. Yeah, it says Kia. <laughs> Should we just get on with the race? <laughs> the lies, the deceit. I've just upgraded the Kia's power system, so it now puts out 646 horsepower and 830 newton meters of torque. Let's see what we can do now, Kia. Three, two, one. Oh, it's closer off the line. Oh, <laughs> that is close. Oh, he's ahead! Come on! He nailed that launch. Oh, I've got this. Uh, oh, you did a good job. Your launch was really good then. I think I could have been a bit better in my Kia, but it was still quite close. I reckon if I nailed the launch a bit better, almost as well as you did, I could run you a bit closer. Who'd have thought, eh? These Kias are fast. To be fair, for a Kia, it even looks like quite sporty. Yeah, well, Kia's designers have really changed things recently. I mean, they're lovely, their cars. And this is probably their best looking one yet. Three, two, one. Oh, it's close. Oh. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Oh, this is close. Come on! <laughs> He's rocking in his seat. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Only just had me. I think your start was pretty decent. I left the line a little bit, maybe a split second before you. Stuart, did I jump the start? You did not jump the start. I did not jump the start. Really close there, Mark. Would you like one last go to see if you can get a slightly better start? Oh, yeah, let's go again. Three, two, one. Oh, we nailed that. I'm going to get a better start than that. I've got it again. I can actually feel that this Kia has a two-stage gearbox. It seems to launch in one gear, then pick up in the other. The Kia Vita. And there we go. That was a brilliant launch by you. We actually left the line pretty much neck and neck. I mean, the way that thing launches is so good. It launches pretty much as well as a Kia. The back end of this like dips down and it's like shot out of a cannon, it's amazing. So the Kia did good, but when you're like launching neck and neck, yeah, the Lamborghini is quicker. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Lamborghini won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.9 seconds, while the Audi took 11.2 seconds. In case you're wondering what the Kia did, it actually was pretty quick. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.9 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in automatic mode. So this is just auto anyway. Yeah, he's in automatic mode for that gearbox. Ready to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Come on, race in the half mile. Oh. Is he coming now? Oh, this is going to be close. I don't know if he's going to catch me. This Kia is fast. Oh no, he's coming past the Kia now. Oh, he takes the win again, I reckon. Oh. 
You must have been severely worried then. I can't believe how close this and the Kia are. It's unbelievable. I thought you were going to lose then. Anyway, let's try something else. All right, Mark, another rolling race from 50 miles an hour. This time, you can be in manual mode for the gearbox, locked into third gear. We'll see who's quickest to the half mile. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh good gear change. Oh, this is close. He's going now. Oh, he's done it again. That was better that time. Beautiful. You did a bit better that time when you, the gearbox didn't have to change down again. It's rubbish, isn't it, in auto, that? The thing with this is it's like semi-automatic and it needs manual input. Like Without that, it's just absolutely asleep every single time. One last thing to do. Okay, then, now we're going to have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. Once again, to the half mile. Only this time, Mark is in second gear. Three, two, one, go. Look how this picks up. Oh, he's got the jump on me. It's not flying past me. But now there, the internal combustion engine. Bye, Kia. And all those revs he's got to play with. Oh, yes. Much better for him this time. Clean sweep. Okay, that time your Lamborghini seemed more like a Lamborghini and my Kia seemed more like a Kia. This change gear beautiful then. It is a fantastic car. Final thing to do then, brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line full emergency stop, the car that stops in the shortest distance wins. Which will stop in the shortest distance? Will it be the Lamborghini or the Kia? You're about to find out now. Here comes the line. Come on, Kia. The Lamborghini beat the Kia at that as well. I suppose it is a lot lighter, that Lamborghini, and a lot more expensive. I think I've got carbon ceramics as well. Has your Kia got carbon ceramics? I don't think it has. Poor Kia. Blumen did well though. Who'd have thought, you know, even five years ago, that a Kia would be giving a Lamborghini a run for its money. And you're still claiming that's a Kia. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Okay, I might have lied a bit. It's not a Kia. I can reveal now to everyone and you, Mark, that I am in fact driving an Audi RS e-tron GT. <gasps> I did race the Kia in the first race, and to be fair, it actually did really well, didn't it? It was so fast. It's not actually that much different to this. It's so weird when you say Kia, you know, and, and electric, but like they're coming so fast. Like this is like a steam engine, I suppose, in comparison. They are very, very fast in a straight line. Not so good around corners compared to internal combustion engine cars because of the weight. But wait a minute, I think this is all getting very boring for everybody. I'm going to wrap this up before I just go up my own soul. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there to watch more videos. And on that box there to subscribe to this channel. And I promise I won't be quite as boring as I just was. But ultimately, I'm a motoring journalist and I can get a little bit geeky sometimes. Mm, numbers, data, figures, handling, chassis, suspension setups. Mm.